Please welcome your first fighter making the walk to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Beyond, Nathan Smith! I don't ever wanna go back home. Oh, oh. Said we in Dublin town, get up and get down. Got so much to offer in this city of sound. Bring it joy and hash if you ever got a frown. Yeah, we got the remedy to turn it upside down. Cause we uplifting, ripping through this scene with the cloud X. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing Mayalo Martial Arts, Theo O'Brien! Then you can meet the team. Made sounds in my lonely basement till the day that the whole shit caved in. Then it happened again. Don't be mad at the pen. Every bar is a home invasion. All the homies aging, but we're staying young. We can't drink on your lawn, then we're playing dumb. If you don't say it now, then you'll say none. Here we go, fight number two of the evening. Three two-minute rounds of team action. Headshots loud in this one. I've just been notified. Oh, lovely. I, was, I, I actually thought no, it was going to be just body no, shots. No, they're hitting to the body. I thought this was I thought this was UFA, which permitted shots to the head. Either that or they're just both great at working to the body. Two range of fires. They're tall, aren't they? Nice leg kicks, inside leg kick in front of them. He's cutting off the cage very oh, well, nice. but look at nice. that. Lovely take down. Nice outside trip. Um, lands right in the side control now, just establishing the position before anything else. And with only two minutes with which to work, Paul, they really need to get the work in nice and quick. Yeah, yeah, it really encourages urgency in grappling, but he's chasing an Americana here. Yeah. We can see he's, uh, he's pressing on that, that right arm of O'Brien. Yeah, most of these team points definitely end up on the ground, don't they? It's a lot of leg kicks and then... Yeah, when you don't grappling. have the option of punching to the head, I mean... Yeah, it, limit, it limits the ways you can finish the fight. You're not really going to finish a fight with leg kicks. It's, yeah. it's not a high percentage uh, finish for sure. Trying to get in on that neck. Jumps. Oh! Potentially made the mistake of trying to jump guard into the guillotine. Now finds himself with Brian on top. Doing a good job of just breaking down the posture, Paul. Yeah. yeah, that's the key. Once you hit the mat here, you can't allow him to posture up and start working a pass, you know? And even body shots from here tend to be you know, a, a useful option, so you can't really let your opponent do what he wants. You've got to pull it down on that shoulder, pull it down on the back of that head. You see the foot on the hip there, Shauna? What's yeah. he potentially looking for? He's looking to crawl up his guard and kind of attack the arm. I'd like to see him maybe isolating one arm and going for the attack. You can see he's potentially trying to isolate an arm here slowly yeah. but surely. It is that urgency that's needed with the short rounds. It's, it's kind of can put a little bit of pressure on you. Here we are. Yes, you are. called it. There it is. Nice. That looks tight. Lovely. He's gone belly down on it, trying to put everything he has into it. He's really trying to crack that. Can't quite tell if the point of the elbow is here. That was a flexible elbow. <laughs> My God. I think that is as close as you can get to a finish without getting the tap ball. That was ugly. I don't like seeing that elbows <laughs> getting hyperextended like that. As a man who's dislocated his elbow before, I get PTSD when I see things like that in front of me. <laughs> I think that with the teens, they do have flexible yeah. joints and elbows. <laughs> Then, Shauna, what I want to ask you then, going into the second round, with the arm looking hyperextended as it was, is that potentially going to be an impediment to O'Brien moving forward? Will he feel the pain of that in the next round? 
Yeah, I do think though, like when you're in a fight and that adrenaline, you don't really feel that until the end. Like you could have a lump coming out your leg or your arm could be swollen or your face could be gushing and you, you tend to just push through. I feel like the adrenaline gets you through. Can sometimes be in the little bit of the gap in between. When you slow down, it can hit you a little bit, but I think once you get back in and he throws the one tails again, he's, he's going to be straight back into it. Personally, but you don't know, because that was very deep as well. It was very deep. Paul, if you're in the corner of Theo O'Brien right now, what are you telling him? You know, coming back from that near submission, what does he need to do differently to keep himself safe? Well, first of all, he needs to get back uh, dominating this fight because he's definitely lost that first round, you would imagine, on the judges' scorecards. He can't afford to drop another round because if it goes the distance, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's guaranteed it's not going to go his way. But he's doing the right thing here and getting on the front foot and pushing his opponent backwards, but he can't allow him to just tee off like this. He needs to get his respect. Spin and back kick from Smith and it's, it's smart when you think about it. he's keeping it where he's the range he's trying to keep it at kicking range and prevent his opponent from closing that distance yeah those inside leg kicks are lovely he's scoring them very nice lovely. and he's keeping himself safe it's really I find it so awkward when they're punching the body it's, I don't know if it's, it wouldn't be my idea of the best role. I think they should just let them have headshots and I put a headshot on. I remember competing at this rule set back in the day in the old uh, MMA league way back when and I found it so awkward oh. to try and do this. Just the, the temptation to then go upstairs must be yeah. must be huge. When my opponent did that he walked across the mat and he threw an overhand right and clocked me so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe still keep your hands up. <laughs> he kind of forgot the rule set I think. Does, it, does this potentially teach bad habits in young fighters? I think, I think, he, oh, he felt those he didn't hurt, he? He was hurt there. And on a double, but O'Brien reverses the position and again finds himself with Smith working for an arm bar. You can see he's cut the angle. He oh. is tricky off the back. You'd like to see maybe if he can. I can't see if he has an arm on the opposite side. He accepted the bottom position. You know, he was a little bit hurt going down, but he was. He's trying to work a triangle, perhaps, yeah. Paul? He's happy to climb up now and attack sub submissions again. Yeah, they're the far side of the cage from us right now, so we can't see the arm positioning of O'Brien. We can't see how safe he is. But you presume because Smith isn't locking up the triangle that both arms are through there. Yeah, I think they are. I'm trying to see off both sides, but it does look like both hands are on front. And he doesn't look like he has the space to switch to the arm bar on the far side. It it's just seems to be impeded awkward. by the cage. Yeah, it is quite awkward when you're against the cage. And he can't even hit him here because his body is underneath him. So it is very awkward. Yeah, jiu-jitsu changes entirely when the, the cage becomes a factor. 100%. Squash neck it can be an uncomfortable position. I think it might be 1 1 now, lads. Yeah, I'd be inclined to agree with you. Yeah, it looks like a some good damaging blows bit landed there to the body. O'Brien was able to, as you rightly said between rounds there, O'Brien was able to assert a little bit more, a little bit more, not necessarily dominance, but a little bit more of his game yeah. into the second round. A much, much closer round to call, without a doubt, and potentially all to play for going into the third and final round here, Shauna. Yeah, 100%, which makes it all the exciting. It's an, it is an awkward rule set, though, I have to say. And you were, you were mentioning there that it, it might teach fighters bad habits. It, uh, to me, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good habit to get into fighting with your hands down. And it's very difficult to force yourself to do it when you train the other way around, you know? And also, it kind of, with the greatest of respect, I realize that it's a, it's a, a tiered progression system. But if you have a fighter who knows your opponent can only go to the body and you know that you can only go to the body, you find yourself in this 50-50 of just tucking your elbows yeah. to the inside and, and not really being able to get shots off. Yeah, yeah it's really bad habits. I think either give them bigger gloves or make them wear headcarts. Yes. I think that would solve everyone's problems. Well, look at the three of us just sitting here putting <laughs> the MMA world to rights. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody listen. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever listens, Sean. No. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Lovely nice teeth to open up. He's working that body, and again, the, with the kicks had a different complexion. Even if you are covered up to the body, you can do damage. The I've seen arms broken with kicks. Yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, he's going for that takedown again. Lovely, very Straight nice. Side control. Trying to get a hold of that Back. neck. Oh, oh, oh! He's locked up the dars. He's across the chin, I think, as he, far as I can see. He needs to hook a leg, and there he goes. He gets That's a little step over the top, which is going to make it. A little nastier. It's not quite underneath. It's yeah. more so, as you said, Sean, it's more so on the face. Uncomfortable, but not necessarily a top position. Also, that kid is ridiculously flexible, yeah. so he didn't look flustered whatsoever. That arm arm's bar. in danger now, though. Mounted arm bar. 
Point of the elbow looks safe, not quite the position for it. Switching to a potential triangle. Oh, my plata. Oh, my plata at this stage. Unbelievable. Nice. Go, go, plata's there. Oh, nice. Back to the armbar. Lovely transitions. Fantastic scramble. And now he's attacking his neck. Lovely. There's some serious grappling. Yeah. Has knee on belly. May choose to let go of that leg and switch through. He has got back to a dominant position, but after almost being submitted there, he's going to need to do something similar, I think, to swing the round back. He may find himself being taken down here. Oh, what oh, a back out take! On the back. He's sliding off, just postured up here by the, by the Kilkenny man, and he's just about safe, I believe. Yeah, he's going to shrug that elbow off the top. Falls to his back. And again, just how important is this in a super close round, Shauna, with the fighter finishing on top. Do the judges have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a sway if you're the fighter finishing on top in a close round? 100 percent, I definitely think, especially when there is shots to the head, because it's a lot more dominating looking. But uh, oh, he's on for the arm now as well. It's constantly attacking. Lovely. What? Very, very close fight though. Yeah, like, incredibly great. close. And the, the level of grappling from these young fighters, that just yeah. lets me know that the amateur MMA is in very safe hands moving forward. 100%. Bright, bright future for both of these young lads. See myself Can we take a trip? I wanna take away the pain. Pain. Take away the pain. The pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, come ride with me. Let me show you just how we be. Only got two wheels, never found a key. But we're too tired of showing signs of fatigue. So we're leaving A and we're bound for B. Windows down for the whole town to see. If I would allow it, you would drown in me. But you're my counterpart, and we both count on D. Oh, yeah. Baby, if I said it, then you know I meant it. You're my bread and butter, but I cannot seem to get my motherfucking head out to. All three judges have scored this bout 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Nathan Smith!